What's going on, my friends? It's your boy, Said. So, I want to start off the video by quoting Bruce Lee, right? If you put limits on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your life, into your work. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. You must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Right, so, a lot of you guys are going to think of this as like physical plateaus, right? In the gym, bench press, whatever, and that's nice. That, that's also one part of the video. But I'm talking about plateaus in literally every aspect of your life, okay? Relationship plateaus, uh, physical plateaus in the gym, weight loss plateaus, um, bench press plateaus, anything really, right? Financial plateaus. You're going to fucking hit those brick walls inevitably in life, no matter where you are, no matter which place you are in life, you're going to hit those fucking plateaus, okay? And you're going to think to yourself that this is it. That I have hit a wall, There's, I'm not going to be able to go any further than that, right? And this is your chance, right there, when you hit those plateaus, to really dig deep down and really strengthen your character. And once you get over that plateau, the more difficult that plateau is, the more difficult the obstacle is, the more of a... Uh, daunting task it seems to you whatever it is you're trying to overcome once you overcome that the feeling is just going to magnify the good feeling the feeling of you know proud you're proud of yourself and you know you're feeling accomplished it's going to be even more magnified right and you must fucking break those plateaus bro you must kill the old self of you the old version of you kill that motherfucker Right? That's another thing. A lot of times your plateaus are just created illusions, right? Most of the time, you know, most of the time. Uh, they're created here. They're just illusions, right? And you create them, you tell yourself for whatever fucking reason, you limit yourself. For whatever fucking reason. It could be just that society is somehow limiting you or giving you these thoughts and these ideas that are limiting you, right? But whatever it is, you're limiting yourself. You're, you're putting self-limiting beliefs in 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 your life, in your relationship, or in the gym, uh, or anywhere else, or financially or something, right? You gotta fucking change your self-image. You gotta start looking at yourself as someone who fucking smashed through those plateaus, okay? Like, you gotta see yourself smash through these plateaus, bro. And no matter where you are in life, you're gonna run through plateaus. Like, even top-level athletes at their top of their game, they'll have, like, a bad spill in their career where shit's not going well and that's their plateau and sometimes it even goes down you know what I mean like not only do you plateau but you might even go backwards and that's fine right but you gotta always remember where you were where that plateau is and you gotta just see yourself and, and really believe that you're fucking smashing through these plateaus bro right like if you've been let's say if you've been just like living paycheck to paycheck right you're just barely making a living you know, barely paying your bills and you've been like that for a while. Now what happened is a process happened in your subconscious where you now see yourself as someone who just pays bills. You know, you never have any savings, you never have any surplus, you never, you know what I mean? And that becomes your self-image and you're not even aware of that. It just, ha it all happens subconsciously, right? You could have killed that motherfucker and you're going to start seeing yourself as someone who makes a lot of money, who's comfortable financially, right? And you got to have so much determination right? This is going to come from your soul. This is going to come from deep within to break through that financial plateau, right? Same thing. Like if you've been chubby all your life, right? If you've been like, uh, you know, you have like extra weight, say you have been like 30 pounds overweight for the last eight years or as far as you can remember. Same thing. You see yourself as a fat fuck, okay? In your head, you're, a f you're fat. In your head, oh my God, I'm a fat fuck. I'm a fat fuck. I'm and you might not even notice it. You might not even notice that that's how you look at yourself. But that's how you look at yourself. That's your plateau. You see? That's a self-limiting belief. That's a self-limiting plateau that you're not even aware of. Right? You're going to start seeing yourself as someone who is fucking sexy. Right? Someone with a six-pack. You're going to walk around like you got a fucking six-pack even though you don't have it yet. You see? You're going to really see yourself smashing your plateaus in life. In whichever field they may be. Right? You gotta see yourself as a new person. You gotta shed the old skin. You gotta kill your old self. Metaphorically speaking, you gotta kill your old self. You gotta tell him, fuck off, motherfucker. I'm tired and sick of your shit. Right? You gotta talk shit to yourself. But on the other end, 
you're gonna see yourself as that someone who's breaking through these plateaus, who's on top of the fucking world, right? Who's a winner, who's breaking all kinds of plateaus and making all kinds of life gains in every shape, in every form, in every field, right? It's about your self-image. These things you're not aware of. Most of your plateaus, most of your self-limiting beliefs are things you're not even aware of. They're things that have been passed down by your parents, by your uh, society, by your culture, that you can't do this, that you can't do that. There are no limits. There are only plateaus and you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. And that's where your fucking determination kicks in, bro. That's where your fucking, it's in here, it's in the soul. That's when your soul comes in and says, fuck everything. You know, you just kind of go Super Saiyan 3. You just go like, you're like, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Time to change. I'm a new person. Fuck the old me. I love the new me. Check out SightMobile.com for inspiration, for empowerment. And go to the description. I got a free book. Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life Inside and Outside the Gym. Uh, leave me something in the comments and go break all of your fucking plateaus, bro. Be determined, okay? Have that eye of the tiger in here, right? Have that fucking eye of the tiger. Like, I'm gonna fucking do this, right? And as always, don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes.